Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, April 19th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Augusta, Georgia. Well, today I got to write about a little bit an old vulnerability and an old feature, a UDDIs. UDDIs back in the day were supposed to basically organize enterprise web services, have since been kind of forgotten. Don't think anybody sort of really uses them much anymore, but uh, there are still some vulnerabilities out there that occasionally get the interest of attackers. The one that I observed uh, sort of having a increase the last day or so was CVE 2014-4210. This is a WebLogic server-side request forgery vulnerability. The feature itself is linked to the UDDI Explorer in WebLogic and, well, essentially allows you to connect uh, from the WebLogic server to arbitrary URIs via the operator parameter. Interesting kind of vulnerability. I doubt it's really that fruitful. Interesting that it offers something sort of has this search in activity. We have seen sort of little blips over the last few months uh, with hits against this vulnerability, but uh, nothing compared to what we saw yesterday, which uh, was uh, something like close to 1500 uh, hits for this vulnerability that usually gets nothing and uh, every month or so we may get like five or so hits uh, normally. Uh, WebLogic listens on port 7001 and the latest search of activity came from what looks like a Chinese ADSL IP address. And a number of government agencies, including the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA in the US, the FBI, the NSA, and the UK National Cyber Security Center, NCSC, are warning about a new wave of attacks from a Russian threat actor that is taking over Cisco routers. This sounds exciting, but is actually something pretty boring. It's SNMP that's being attacked here. Vulnerabilities that should probably be mitigated in one form or another for a decade or so. The two vulnerabilities being exploited here are first of all weak community strings. So we're just left the community string to public. And then secondly, a vulnerability from 2017, CVE 2017-6742, that does allow remote code execution via SNMP. So both of these vulnerabilities, well-known and uh, often discussed, uh, there are workarounds, there are patches available. Once the threat actor has access to an affected router, they will then use the usual tools like TFTP in order to either exfiltrate files or, order, or also install additional malware on the system. There are two advisories here, one from CISA and one from NCSC, the NCSC advisory also includes more details about the Jaguar tooth malware that is then typically installed. So what should you do in response? Well, first of all, don't be stupid and block SNMP traffic and also make sure that SNMP is configured correctly on devices supporting it. And talking about, well, stupid things that you shouldn't do with routers, one of those things is discarding routers or offering them for sale on eBay without properly wiping uh, these routers. ESET published a brief paper looking at, I think about 18 routers they bought off eBay. These are more professional routers, things like you know Juniper, FortiGate and the like. And in about half of these routers, they found, for example, still valid credentials. They also found VPN configurations and other network configuration details, which if they haven't changed since then, which they often haven't, could now be used to access uh, these exact networks. Networks. In order to gain these access to these credentials, they actually didn't have to do that terribly much work. They didn't like uh, open the devices and image drives and the like. They just used standard console access, uh, standard operating system commands in order to retrieve uh, that data. 
Reminds me of a story I wrote about a couple years ago about a Gigamon tab that I bought, actually two different Gigamon tabs, both of which still had the configuration of their prior owner. One of them I was able to identify and return the tab to them. That's why I ended up buying a second one. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.